Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, um, welcome. My name is Monica and I share this channel with my twin sister, Mary Lou. And if you are not new, welcome back. Today's video is already one of my favorites. You guys already know I have big uh, shopping problems. I can't help it. I'm always like, I literally told myself at the beginning of the year, like, no more shopping. You need to calm down and not shop so much. And and that lasted um like i think a month i think it was pretty good for the first month and then like so my annual sale came around from a toy secret and all this makeup started coming out well i mean makeup always is coming out but still i was like oh seriously it's so hard not to shop and i am going to make this video into two parts because yeah i've didn't realize that I've bought in so much clothes and makeup so I was like I don't know if I want this video to be like 30 minutes long and combining all together so I'm just gonna split it up the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is going to be my makeup what I've recently purchased all right so that was like really weird I was like recording that video and then I heard a bit like big big loud bang and I'm like what the is that like um, so I'm going to show you guys what I recently have purchased from, um, of makeup, I guess I should say, because it's literally from like Target, Nimi's online, um, Ulta, and some lash brand. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is my Ulta stuff. Actually, I have purchased some stuff online too. I forgot I had these big boxes. I'm like, ugh. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, if I didn't already have enough lipsticks and makeup and whatnot, but no girl ever says that. So, anyway, so starting off with my purchase, I went into Ulta because Mary Lou and I, like, will hang out on Fridays and go, like, shopping, go on lunch or dinner dates and just hang out. And last two weekends, we, like, went a little crazy on shopping and we're, like... What the heck we're trying to save money and not spend it and somehow we're out here shopping all the time so so we went to ulta because um a couple weeks ago i went to target and um bought the wet and wild uh foundation stick which i don't have to show you guys um because i don't know where it's at i can't find it i don't know if i left it at work or it's like somewhere in my car but that foundation stick for five bucks is like amazing and then i also picked up this uh wet and wild concealer whoa as i just drop it so this is the wet and wild concealer i love it um i would for being like a drugstore brand i really really love it Hopefully we can try this one more time because I got interrupted and I'm like, seriously, I hate when I get interrupted like in the middle of me like being in my zone and like trying to get into things and then I get interrupted. <laughs> so I bought this with um, the Wet n Wild um, foundation, which is bomb. Like literally I posted a look on my Instagram and like I raved about it. I was like, oh my God, like $5 for this foundation it is insane. Like, um... It kind of looks like the Makeup Forever packaging, but to be honest, I mean, I like the Makeup Forever uh, HD foundation stick, but the only thing with that one, like, it makes me oily after a couple hours. So, um, I usually wear it, that one if I'm only going to wear it for a couple hours because I love how um, the coverage is, but if I wear it, like, an all day, by the end of the day, like, my face is cracked and oily and it just does not look good so i love that wet and wild one for five dollars like uh who's gonna say no to a five dollar foundation like that's insane so that was one of my purchases oh and then at target i also got this wet and wild um loose illuminating um highlight um this is in the color hustle and glow which i don't want to get it everywhere so i'm gonna slowly open it but I heard like good things about this too and like raves about it. Like just look at that glow. It's insane. I think this one was like $5.99 or $6.99 which is not like pricier but in the um, Wet n Wild price point it is one of their pricier items. So I really like that. I heard really good things about it. So I'm excited to try that as well. Actually, well I already tried it and I loved it. Yeah, like for... Um, 
for like summer i'm really excited to like use it on like your collarbones like so it'd probably be sick actually let me try it on a little bit and i probably can't see that that good that yeah, gives you a little highlight but i need like a little brush but yeah that's pretty pretty um nice so moving on um to ulta i did online purchase in the night in store as well so i'll show you guys my in store so since i was raving about that wet and wild stuff um i wanted their bronzer because i did see it online on, on ulta when it first came out and i was like oh my god i want that but i didn't want to pay like 4.99 on top of the $5.99 shipping or the $5 shipping because I'm like uh, I can just go into the store but they didn't have it in store yet and so um when we went the other day I think it was like on Monday I mean I think we went a couple times to Ulta so I'm like I can't remember but we went one of those days and um yeah <laughs> anyways I was like pretty bad because I was like I'm only gonna get like $50 worth of stuff and if that and I ended up spending like a hundred and something and I'm like I never learn my lesson when I come in never but anyways so um I picked up some more wet and wild stuff so I got two bronzers which I couldn't say no to I got the um ticket to Brazil which I haven't opened yet but this one's some more like I don't know if you can tell this one's like a lighter bronzer doesn't have um it's matte it doesn't have any shimmer in it or anything and then this other one is their palm beach ready which i love this one does have shimmer in in it and it's a little bit darker um the, the lights are probably too bright right now so but it's not as um Light as the other one, it's not super dark. It's really, really pretty, especially like with the bronzy look. I love this bronzer, as you can tell, I already used it. And then, you guys, like, this highlighter is game-changing, like, for real. Like, I never knew why people rave so much about um, Wet n' Wild highlights. And I'm like, now I know why they rave about them. Like, because they're so affordable and they give you, like, a damn glow i'm not wearing it today i actually have the dosa colors i love sarai collection and that's one of my other favorites but this one like oh my god you guys if you follow me on instagram and snapchat you know i've like raved about this plenty of times and ugh, the lights are like way too bright so that's the highlight oh. I guess I could just show you right next to this other swatch. So this one's more of like a pearly one. So this is the loose one I showed you guys first. And then this is the precious petal, which I love. Like it's insane. Like how good of a glow that gives you. Like I love it. And then you can use like your rewards at Ulta too or like coupons on like drugstore stuff, which is pretty good too so if you stock up you can use that coupon and then let's see i picked up some makeup revolution um this is a liquid lipstick which i love the color i've gotten a lot of compliments on this already and for like five bucks you can't go wrong like makeup revolution is where it's at um this is in the color matte darling um and i posted a look on my instagram using this so if you guys i mean i don't know i can't really show you um, because of my self tanner, which I didn't really think about that in this video, which I'm kind of annoyed because I'm probably just gonna have like white hands. And then I also picked up my favorite um, concealer to uh, contour with, and this is a Makeup Revolution um, concealer in the color C13. And I actually got Mary um, Mary Lou hooked up on this because she wasn't like a big fan of like cream contouring and like stuff like that and she's like what do you use on your contour and i had her use mine and she like fell in love with it so she purchased it which this is my favorite and which and, and this is a brand new one i recently ran out of my other one so i've been contouring with my nars um contour stick but that is a, one of my favorite that is definitely my first favorite one um and then let's see what else did i get 
I picked up some stuff from LA Girl. I got some lip liners. Um, which the other one I lost two already. I'm like, why do I lose my stuff already? Like, um, so this is in the color Sugar and Spice. Which again, you guys, oh yeah, it does come up. That's what that color is. And the other one, I'm sad I lost it because it was my favorite. And of course, like when I take it out, it's like, why do I always lose stuff that I end up liking? This next product, I literally just put it on. My eyes are like gonna water. Uh, Cause I forgot to put it on. Um, but uh, this is the LA Girl Ultimate Liner in the color Super Bright. I've heard really good things about it. And so far I've been loving it. It's really awesome to give that um, your eye like that brightening, like eye pop popping or like brightening, like to open up your eyes. So I really love that. And then um, I also picked up this Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer in the light in the color Light Medium Sand, which I'm sure you guys have seen this raves about this. Um, I, I this is actually my second one. The first color I got like when it first launched was like super super light, so I still have that one. Um, I just don't use it as often because literally like it's like pale on me. Um, so I only use it to like maybe prime my eyes, but this one is more my shade and definitely one of my favorites. I didn't realize how expensive it was because uh, I thought it was like $22, $23. And then I, when I paid for it, it was like $27 and I'm like, shit, did it used to be that expensive or like, did I always just think it was cheaper? I know they have their sales sometimes, but maybe that's where I got confused. But anyways, yeah, so I picked up this concealer which I love, I definitely recommend. Um, and then the last thing I got at Ulta, like this is life changing, you guys. This is the Turn Up The Heat um, Clay Cleanser from Formula 1006, which I love a lot of their products. I've, I've actually used a lot of their, um, well, their skincare brand. So I've used a lot of their skincare, a lot of their masks. And this one for sure is one of my favorites. Um, this actually like, um, what does it say? So it's a self-warming clay mask, which actually is. So you have to wet your face first um, and like open up your pores and leave it damp a little bit and then put this on. And as soon as you start like rubbing this into your skin, like you uh, feel it warm up, which is pretty cool so that warm um that warm sensation that you get is actually opening up your pores and that clay and ginger and the um the ingredients in this product actually work deep into your skin to pu uh, pull out in impurity impurities oh my gosh i cannot speak um which is pretty cool i've been using this i think what it was like Two weeks ago we got it, two or three weeks, I mean I got it when we went to Ulta and I've been using it ever since and like I'll literally wake up the next day and I'm like damn my skin is glowing. Like um, I have acne prone skin and I have a lot of blemishes and breakouts. Um, no matter what I do like literally birth control like fucked up my skin which I regret it because I never used to break out at all when uh, um before I got on birth control and then once I got on birth control like literally like my body and my hormones like everything was just like all over the place and I started breaking out like really really so this definitely like makes my skin a lot glowier it looks like my acne scars and acne is like going away and it's actually like done miracles I love this so you can use this one two three times I think one two three times yeah, per week and I use it at least um, two or three times a week while I've been using it and I love it so far. So um, this gets an A++. Oh shit, I thought I was done with my Ulta haul but I guess not. This, <laughs> this is the last thing I got Ulta, like I need any more eyeshadow. So I've been eyeing the Jaclyn Hill um, and Morphe, well I guess the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, eyeshadow palettes. Um, so I got the Armed and Gro Gorgeous. I want one of I wanted one of their other palettes, but they were sold out of it. So I was like, maybe it's a good thing because I have way too many eyeshadow palettes. Said no grow ever, but I'm sure you guys have seen this as well. But I'm gonna show you guys anyways. The colors are just like gorgeous. 
I need to turn off my light. I don't know why, like, it just doesn't focus, but definitely in my color scheme that I like. I think that's it for Ulta. I don't really remember what else I got. If I purchased anything, I try to remember, but um, I think that's all I got Ulta um, in store. I guess I'll, sh if I can get this in, share it with you guys what I got on Ulta online. It was like after because, um, because they're having like a sale, of course. Of course, after you go shopping at that store, they have a sale. I didn't get much um, on here because they just had like the Mickey Mouse, the Dose of Color Mickey Mouse um, stuff on. Okay, sorry guys, I'm like trying to open this. Um, on sale. So I was like, yes, I've seen a lot of people use a lip gloss and I'm like, I fuck freaking need that lip gloss. Like... So I only got few things on online like i said so i got two of the mickey mouse um rocking it lip gloss which the packaging is like super adorable like look at the mickey mouse little design on the box that's so cute i only got two because um i'm nice and i got um merely one so so she can have one and i can have one Ooh, it's even on the on the lid which is pretty cute I'm not sure you guys have seen this as well, but I'll show you guys. It's just a nude color. I already, you guys already know I love my nude colors, so very pretty. So I got two of those, like I said, and then I got one of their lipsticks. Guys, this is making me feel like a bad person because I literally like shop for way too much makeup, like insane oh i was just opening the same lip gloss um and then the last thing i got at ulta is this lipstick packaging's really cute on this too super cute and again you guys already know my new love for nudes so there is that color this is in the shade 1928, which I am excited to use. So it completes that. Moving on to my Namies. I think that's how you, I think that's how you pronounce it, Namies. Um, haul, it's just, I got some Huda Beauty stuff from there. I've been eyeing, um, to try their setting powders and concealers because I have their foundation or yeah Huda Beauty's foundation and let me tell you I love that foundation like it is amazing I am wearing it today and it is balm um I am also wearing the products that I'm about to show you the concealer and the setting powder and let me tell you like they are bomb. Definitely worth the price. I restocked on my foundation um, because I was already running out of my other one. So I just got a new foundation, the faux foundation. This is in the color um, Tres Leches. And the shade, I guess the number shade is 320G if you guys are interested. Um, the only thing I kind of don't like, I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't like is the smell of it. Like it has like this rose it's a weird like rose scent to it and you get used to it. But when I first started trying it, I was just like, ugh, gives me a headache. Cause certain scents, like, I don't know, gives me a headache, but it doesn't bother me. I'll, I'll rock with this because, uh, yes, this stuff is legit and I love it. So the next two items I got from Huda Beauty is their concealer and the setting powder. So the concealer, like, oh my God definitely worth it i'm like why did why what took me so long to um get the concealer and the setting powder because i've been eyeing it for a while so i got the overachiever uh concealer and this is in the color shade six um nougat 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 i don't know how to pronounce that it's the shade six and i love it as you can tell my makeup came out pretty bomb today 
Just saying. <laughs> and then the next thing I got was a setting powder. I got in the shade uh, Banana Bread. And it comes in this like cute little packaging. Let me see if I can open it. And show you guys. Since I already took it out, obviously I put it in there like wrong. But this is what it comes in. This little cute package. In the color banana bread banana, banana bread and i love it already setting powders are like definitely one of my big things that i enjoy concealer ugh, well, i guess i love everything in makeup but setting powders for sure like it's either hit or miss if i use it the first time and i love it or i use it the first time and i hate it and i won't use it again so so yeah oh yeah i forgot to you guys, I cut my hair off. I forgot to say that, as you can tell, obviously, from the previous videos. I had to chop it off because um, my hair was so damaged. Like, being blonde, like, sucks. And I had, like, I don't know if you can tell now because of the length. But I literally have, like, breakage that's, like, this long in the back of my hair. So I was just like, ugh. I was like, maybe I'll just rock um, with wigs. Um... So I keep playing with it. I'll, maybe I'll like rock with wigs for a little bit while my hair grows because I'm debating if I should color it back dark to my natural color, which is like my what my roots is, or keep it. But literally, I've been getting so many compliments on my hair color and haircut, and I'm like, seriously, guys, like I want to go back dark. But then at the same time, when I look at pictures and like I see my hair, I'm like, oh, but I love this color, and everybody always gets so many compliments on on it. But anyways, moving on. I forgot to. To mention that to you guys because this video is probably gonna be like freaking long so moving on to lashes um this lash brand i found them on instagram i don't know what i was doing but um i ran um i i found them on instagram obviously so this is lash dreams or yeah lash dreams and they always have a sale going on um as you guys saw, like, on my Instagram video, I posted a couple of ones that I got. I'm wearing one pair today. The pair that I'm wearing is called... Um, I don't know what they're called because it doesn't have a name on them. So, I will link it down below if I find uh, the name of them. But, um, I had the velvet ones and... And I wore them for two days and they're like already beginning to be my favorites and I lost one. I'm like, seriously, like, why does this always happen? And then, so I have those and I literally, as I'm filming this uh, this video, I got a text message saying that um more lashes were delivered. So it comes in this cute packaging. And if you go on their website, which I'll tag them down below, or like their Instagram Instagram website, they always have a code like that says use code so and so if you want a discount. Um, of course, I can't get it open, so so I had to order some more of those velvet ones. I'm like, yes, I need more of those. Like those are my favorites. You guys can already tell, like lashes are my thing. So so you get a cute little card with it and i had to stock up so these are the velvet ones that i was like falling in love with and of course i lost super super cute so you can never go wrong with having a lot of lashes and then i also recently received i also received something else in the mail which i actually don't know what this is i'm sure it's makeup though Ooh, ooh. More lashes. Um, these are the Ilore Cashmere lashes. The packaging is cute. Ooh, I can't wait to try these. And as you guys don't already know, like I'm more of a dramatic lash girl. Like some people are like, your lashes are way too long or like way too dramatic. How can you wear these? But I don't know. I'm like, I just f with them like oh who knows i just like them the way they are so that's just me though so so the last thing that i'm going to show you guys i got another package 
is from i already know this from anastasia because like um i believe we showed you in our last video um during the holidays um i ended up getting the light to open it i ended up getting the light to medium um lip set that came with 10. Ta-da! This is the pretty packaging. Um, so um, Anastasia a couple weeks ago restocked this along with her palettes and the light light to medium shade. I ended up getting the medium to dark color. So so this is what it looks like. They're the dark shades and you can't go wrong with these like i said we said in our last video like this was 60 bucks and it comes with 10 liquid lipstick so it literally brings each one out to like six bucks like which is insane so i'm like i can't say no i originally wanted the light or the medium to dark set um but since they sold out i was like oh i'll just do the light to medium since you guys know i love my nudes um and then i these or got this one which i'm excited because the packaging is beautiful like like yes so that concludes my makeup haul um stay tuned for my clothing haul because that's a whole nother like ball game this video is already I'm already at like 30 Five minutes so I'll definitely cut it down but I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in and we will see you guys in our next video